Hello everyone! Hello my dear students! Welcome back again to Ram's tutorial channel. Before we proceed to our lesson, allow me to say this. I know that most of our fellow men or citizens are sad of what is happening to our country today. Increasing the numbers of COVID victims and we are greatly affected of it. Our economy facing the difficulties on how to cope up the needs of every individual. But with unity, love, sincer, we can overcome this crisis in our country. Since we are extended another week, let's pray for all of us. Stay safe, Philippines, and welcome back again to Ram's tutorial channel. Great day, everyone. Welcome back to Ram's tutorial. Today, guys, we're going to discuss about finding greatest common factor and blessed common multiple, which is LZM and GCF. To find, or why do we need to study GCF or LCM? We need them when we perform operations involving fractions made our students. Say, for example, let us find the GCF or the greatest common factor of 24 and the LCM or least common multiple of a 10. First, guys, you are going to get the prime factorization of 24 and a 10. You are going to we are going to identify the common prime factors and we are going to multiply them. So for example, let's start with 24 and then going down to 18 and we are going to write it their greatest common factor. Here we go. 24. Let's start with number 24. We are going to write here. We are going to factor 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 24. Why, guys? 2 times 2, 4. Times 2, 8. Times 3, we have 24. That's our factor for 24. Next, we have 18. What are the possible factors of 18? So we have 2. Let's start with 2 again. Times 3. That's 6 times 3. This is what we call a 10. That's the factor. We're going to find it out. They're common prime factors. We have two common factors. And then we have three. These are the common factors. We are going to write two. Then the dot is, dot class it symbolizes as multiplication. Then we're going to jot down the 3 also. Then after this, we are going to multiply it. That is 2 times 3. The answer is 6. 6 now class is what we call our greatest common factor or GCF. Next, we're going to find it out. The LCM or least common multiple of 4 and 6. We are going to get the factorization between 4 and 6 major students. Then we are going to multiply the common factors by the rest of the remaining prime factors. Let's start with 4, then going down to 6, and we're going to jot down RLCM class. So let's start with 4. We have, we factor 4 2 times 2. So the result is 4. Next 6, factor of 6, 2 times 3. So the factor of 6. Now plus, we're going to find the LCM. We're going to get first the common factors. So we have 2. It's only 1. Then we jot down here another two. Then this one three. This will be our LCM. And how to get the LCM? You multiply two times two 
and 3. 2 times 2 is 4 times 3. The result is 12. 12 is R L C M. Okay, did you understand, my dear students? So you are going to get first the common factor, jot down here. Common factor between 4 and 6. Then the remaining of 4, we have 2. I jot down here. Then the remaining number of 6, the remaining factor, rather. 3, I jot down it here. Then you are going to multiply class. 2 times 2 is 4. This is the answer. Then times 3, the result is 12. Did you understand, my dear students? Please focus to our subject matter today about how to find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple, which is LCM and GCF class. Actually, this is very easy class. Once you're going to focus on how you're going to get the greatest common factor and LCM between the given equations or given numbers. Now, please keep on watching, guys, till the end of our discussion. So we're going to present two number. One. One is our the first motivation process wherein we're going to answer the following questions. Let's practice. Find the GCF of the number. All we have to do, class, is we're going to find the greatest common factor of 24 and 40. There we go, class. Let's start with that particular number. Okay, here we go. Let's start with number 1. For 24 class, okay, you can start also factor of factor or 3 factor or factor of 3 or it might be like this, the one I did, okay? So let's start with 24. Let's have first here 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. Then times 3, this will be 24. The result is 24. So, 40 class, let's start with 2 times 2 is 4 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Then times 5, the result is 40 class. So, let's proceed to the common factor. We have 1, how many? 2, 2, 3. So we're going to jot down here, class, 2. We are going to write 2, 3, 2, 2. Okay, next step, we're going to multiply the 2 times 2, 4 times 2. Okay, like this, class, so we have 8. 8 is R, what we call G, C, F. Okay, that is what we call the greatest common factor of 24 and 40 my dear students okay did you understand please follow guys we're going to present to the next number or else before we proceed to number two guys i will let you discuss also or i will show you how to get 24 and 40 to say for example this is another method guys this is a factor tree method again factor tree method and what is factor tree method like this so you can do this guys 8 times 3 that's 24 6 times 4 okay many ways so 2 times 4 then 2 ta 2 times 2 okay this will be the factor of 24 so 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 that's what we call the factor of 24. This is another method, guys, okay, to be clear with you so that you, my dear students or my dear viewers, you can understand what is all about our video tutorial today. Let's start with number two. Okay, please follow, guys. Okay, okay you can get also one half sheet of paper. It's either lengthwise or crosswise. Swap. You have an extra paper so that you can follow our discussion today and you can start solving our different equations or different problems. Again, guys, why do we need to study greatest common factor again and LCM or least common factor? Is just, be just because, guys, we need them when we perform operations involving fractions. 
next is 40 okay let's we're going to find it out 40 let's start factor 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 and that is the factor of 40 next which proceed to 60 okay 2 times okay 2 okay times 3 times 5 okay 2 times 3 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 times 5 is 60 my dear students let's proceed to our GCF common factor the CF class this is what we call the CF or common factor another common factor common factor okay so how many two one two and then one five let's proceed guys so it's easy guys like that next step you are going to multiply that two times two times five two times two guys is four times five the result is 20 that is r GCF or the greatest common factor of what we call 40 and 60. Next, 24. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Sorry, the factor of 24. Next, 8, 10. 2 times 3. 3 times 3 2 times 3 guys 6 times 3 is 8 10 this will be the factor of 8 10 let's find the common factor or the CF we have 2 then 3 and that's it so we're going to jot down 2 first then 3 so remember guys you are going to arrange last and 2 greatest factor so multiply it guys, 2 times 3, the answer is 6. This will be our GCF for number 3. Did you understand, my dear student, about how you're going to find the greatest common factor? Now, we're going to proceed to LCM, how to find the least common multiple of its set of numbers. We have 8 and 12, 9 and 16, and 6 and 42. Let's start with 8 and 12. So we have for 8, then 12. Okay, so we're going to start, guys. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Next for 12, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. Now we're going to find what we call the LCM. Find first here the common factor, then the remaining number. So we jot down 2, then another 2, then 3. Next, guys, you're going to multiply this. 2 times 2, the answer is 4. Times 2, the answer is 8. Times 3, the answer is 24. Now, our LCM now is 20. Four. This is for number four. Okay, that is our answer, guys. Next is number five, nine and sixteen. So we have first nine, then sixteen. For nine, we're going to factor first, guys. Three times three is nine. For sixteen, we have two times two, four times 2 8 2 times 2 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 okay now guys 
extra careful with this there is no cf all we need is we're going to find the lcm between the 9 and 16 okay here we go all we have to do this is we're going to jot down 42 okay then 2 3 multiply it 4 8 16 times 3 and times 3 we're going to, I'm going to show you 16 times 3 this one guys 6 times 3 is 18 regroup 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4 48 next 3 you are going to multiply that this is how you are going to get the LCM it's a long process but it's okay times 3 is 24 guys bring down 4 we group 2 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 14 this will be our LCM for 9 and 16 less common multiple between the given equations next is 6 and 42 let's start with 6 Factor for 6, 2 times 3, that's easy. Next, 42. Okay, we're going to factor 42, guys. 2 times 3 is 6, times 7 is 42. Yeah, 6 times 7 is 42. Now, we're going to find the CF, guys. So, we have 2 and 3 times 7. LCM. Did you understand me this for the end? Please follow. 2 times 3 is 6 times 7. We have 42 R LCM. Okay. Hope you understand me, dear students, for our video tutorial, which is regarding finding greatest common factor and LCM, my dear students. Again, if you have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below for our suggestion box. And please do subscribe to Ram's tutorial blog. And I will promise guys to do what you call to discuss it every day so that I can serve you better. Once again, my dear students, so long class. See you in my next videos. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you are updated in our latest tutorial. Bye-bye and God bless us all.